How's it going you guys? The name's just B here. Welcome to my channel. If you guys have been following me up to this point, you know that I am a huge Laker fan. And being a huge Laker fan, I have to follow everything related to the Los Angeles Lakers. But what's the point of this video? So, this video I'm going to talk about the current state of the Los Angeles Lakers um, so far. Um, we've played what, is it 10 games already? and what I feel that we need to do as a team to improve um, what we've been doing correctly and just the moves. If you guys haven't heard, we just signed Tyson Chandler, a veteran uh, who's gonna pretty much be the backup center for the Los Angeles Lakers. This is something that we have completely and absolutely lacked so far this season. Um, if it wasn't JaVel McGee out there then it was LeBron at the five or sometimes even Brandon Ingram Kyle Kuzma and Let's face it. We need another big man out there because they were being toyed around with um, Examples of this were uh, against the Nuggets and uh, Nikolai uh, What's his name Jokic? He was running circles around us all the big guys from the Trailblazers were running circles around them um, Pretty much any big guy was giving us trouble when JaVel McGee wasn't playing so it's very nice to see that the Los Angeles Lakers were able to acquire um, a really good center in my opinion. Uh, Tyson Chandler has been in the, in the league for a very long time, has been with multiple teams. Um, and yet I still believe that he'll be better than Zubak. He'll be better than Mo Wagner obviously because he hasn't even gotten any playing time. Um, and it's just going to be nice. The guy is versatile and he's going to help on, he's, he's very passionate about the type of game he plays. Um, Tyson Chandler is the type of player that will go for the loose balls, will try to block every single shot, and will be there for his teammates. So, welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers, Tyson Chandler. Tyson, uh, we have this weird habit of saying their first and their last name. His name's Tyson. Welcome to the team, Tyson. But yeah, moving on. Let me go game by game, basically stating my opinions on what the Lakers could have done better, what I feel they lacked, um, etc 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 starting with the first game against the, uh, the Portland Trailblazers it was uh, it was apparent that we had no chemistry we were all nervous the three ball was not falling it was it was terrible which is another point I'm gonna make um, in a little bit about the three-pointer um, then we went to Houston and we decided to make it fight club and uh, Rondo got suspended and Ingram got suspended and Chris Paul got suspended and we lost again so we were 0-2 and, and then we went over to San Antonio and uh, or actually San Antonio came to us and we we figured hey you know San Antonio is a pushover team now right wrong they ran circles around us DeMar DeRozan he's, he's a beast in his own right and they beat us uh, by one point I believe that game and then after that uh, we went uh, we went over to the Phoenix Suns and it was at this point as a Laker fan where you figured hey they're gonna win no matter what right and if they didn't there was gonna be a lot of questions because the Suns right now are not doing so hot um, I'll give it to Devin Booker the man can shoot the man's he's going to be one of the greatest when it's all said and done in my opinion he's very young he's very versatile he, uh, he's just a great shooter great player but other than that, they don't really have anybody uh, except a couple of rookies, and yeah. So we won that, and then finally our first win right there, right? Then uh, Denver came into town, and we decided to win again, which is nice, because Denver is one of those playoff teams that we're probably going to see in the postseason, if we make the playoffs. If. I'm pretty sure we're going to make the playoffs. Being optimistic, right? And uh... Uh, after that, uh, once again, we faced San Antonio, but this time on their home court, and they beat us this time. Um, actually, they beat us again. <laughs> they beat us again. Um, we had no answer for LaMarcus Aldridge that game. Uh, and same thing I was saying, like, when JaVel McGee sat down, he destroyed anybody that we put in, in on, to guard him, basically. Um, his footwork is, is very nice on the inside. His post game is great. Um, he's still a really dangerous player. Let's not forget everybody here who's in the NBA is in the NBA for a reason, right? Um, so we lost again. And then, um, so we went to Minnesota after that. 
And in Minnesota, the T Wolves, they they beat us. They uh, we couldn't we we didn't know how to finish that game. We didn't know how to finish a lot of games to be honest up to this point. And then we went to, and then we went back home, and we went against the Mavs, and we beat the Mavericks. And the Mavericks, in my opinion, are one of those rebuilding teams right now. Um, obviously, an aging Dirk Nowitzki is. You know, the man needs to retire. I loved his game for how many, what is it, 20 plus years he's already been in the league. I respect the guy as a player. He's one of the greatest of all time, Dirk. Um, but the rest of the team is just, you know, it's just a bunch of rebuild. They got, what, um, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, the man can play. I, I respect him as a player. Um, and yeah, we won, and then uh, we won once more against Portland. And this one, in my opinion, was the most important win of the season thus far, because it marked the end of the curse. And what curse am I talking about? The the curse the Los Angeles Lakers had against the Portland Trailblazers. We just couldn't win on their home court. And we hadn't been able to win since, I believe, 2014. And mind you, this is when Kobe was still in town. So, that long ago. And uh, it was just a good win overall. I felt like that was a, a it, it felt like a turning point for the Los Angeles Lakers. It felt like, you know what, this team's gonna start doing good. And then the last game happened. If you guys weren't aware, the Los Angeles Lakers sucked against the Toronto Raptors. The Toronto Raptors made us look like a high school, like a middle school team out there. Um, mind you, Kawhi Leonard wasn't even playing. I actually went to this game, and uh, I was so disappointed. It was it was a crazy thing to behold, honestly. Uh, we were losing by 20, I believe, in the first. We got to like losing by 30 in the second, and then from then then on, we made a couple of pushes, and we weren't able to really bring it down. We, we were stuck in at 22, 21, 20, 19 around there. And uh, when the final push by Lonzo in the fourth was was made with his threes. It was way too late, way too late. That one, we... It was terrible. I feel like the Los Angeles Lakers, as a team, probably partied the night before for uh, winning against Portland because of the whole, you know, breaking the curse thing, and I feel like they just weren't ready. They didn't seem like they wanted it as bad as the Trailblazers, or as uh, uh, Toronto, I mean, the Raptors. And Kyle Lowry was killing us. Uh, Serge Ibaka was the one who destroyed us, absolutely annihilated us. Uh, he was perfect, I believe, from the line. And uh, that extra center would have been nice. Uh, but yeah, so tonight we're going against Minnesota again, and hopefully we can get a W. I look forward to, uh, to this game. I feel like it was a wake-up call, the, the game against Toronto, last game, uh, for the Lakers. Like, hey, wake up. Like, you guys need to play better. Like, you guys need to improve on the three-point um, the three point line, on defense, limit the turnovers, and I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna be able to uh, win a bunch of games. And uh, yeah, so that's the current state of the Los Angeles Lakers. I believe we're what, four and six right now? Let's get to 500. Once we get to 500, let's go above and beyond and keep winning games and show the league that we can actually make it to the playoffs. Um, in my opinion, are the Lakers going to win this year? Probably not. Why? The Warriors. The Warriors are insane. The Warriors are... They're, they're like an experiment in a lab gone right for like genetically modified human beings who can shoot and play perfectly together. Um, at this point, it's tough because you're going to have to mimic their game. Uh, their game is ball movement, uh, three-pointers, and excellent defense and you know you got to give it to them but yeah this isn't a video about the Warriors it's a video about the Lakers so if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications the names just be here you guys have a great rest of your day and remember I bleed purple and yellow you guys have a good one